We're in Melbourne, Kansas, uh, East Central, Kansas. We're here with our farmer friend, Robert, Brandon, and Caden Lynch. Um, guys, you know, uh, it's been uh, wet uh, this year. Um, guys are telling me that two, three weeks ago, the crop crops were perfect, crop conditions were perfect, and all of a sudden the rain came, and it's doing a lot of damage. Is that what happened here in Kansas? Yeah, about the 1st of June, or May, it started raining. The rain here in June, 15 inches for wow. us. And that is that normal? Oh, some years we get quite a bit in May, but yeah. usually we start planting beans about the middle of May. Okay. And we didn't start until about the 6th of June for planting beans. Okay. So we got our beans are way behind, two, three weeks behind this year. But you got your corn in early? Corn got in the first April. It looks it looks good, the corn looks good, looks like it's tasseled here, it's got ears. Some fields, other fields, too much moisture too on. Too much moisture. Yeah. Now, um, you know, one of the things I, I try to answer while on the tour, uh, have a lot of the acres gotten planted. Yeah, it looks like uh, everybody got their acres here done. Yeah, a lot of guys are just finishing up on the beans. Okay. When, where, when's prevent plant dates on the beans? 25th of June. 25th of June. Was pre -plant. Okay. Yeah. So I'm assuming they'd rather have the beans in the ground rather than the bag? Yeah, everybody <laughs> does. There are um, just a few people talk maybe going prevent, but not very many. Now, I mean, based on where you're at today, does it look like last year or are we behind? Oh, we're way behind on bean planting. Corn? Yeah. Corn was right about normal. Yeah, right normal. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Um, also, um, you know, there's uh, because high, uh, we've had lower commodity prices and higher input costs, have you seen farmers apply less nutrients, less fertilizer? Have they tried to save some money? Oh, I don't know if we actually saw it. We saw a uh, decrease in acres maybe around here on corn. Okay. Some of our customers, we sell seed, and some of our customers went from corn to motto. Right, right. Now the less acres of corn. Okay. And uh, the wheat looks good. You guys are done harvesting, right? It's fair. It's fair? Yeah. So it looked good, but deceiving? Yeah, kind of. Yeah. yeah. About average? About yeah. average. Cool. Well, thanks for your time. Okay, thanks. We are, uh, we're 100% no-till. Oh, so, are you? Yeah, we don't till anything. So that really? that does make it a little easier on getting in the fields yeah, and stuff because it's, you know, there's, uh, there's just grounds a little bit firmer and everything when you no-till, mm -hmm. so. Uh, there's more soil structure there. I always wonder about I that because, like on Twitter, there's a lot of right. a lot of controversy about it. Yeah, yeah, we we like it. You know, the only problem is weeds. Um, but you know, as long as you rotate your chemicals every year too, that helps spread the rye. So then add all that cover. So then after it rained a bunch, then it was later getting into planet because it was still wet. It held the moisture a lot longer. So, um, which is the idea of having the rye. You know, so we keep the moisture throughout the summer longer. Um, but sometimes it, there was this, uh, we farmed this right here. This is our wheat, uh, some of our wheat that we had in here. Uh, it didn't do real good. Uh, we had two different hybrids and one hybrid ended up getting scab in it real bad. And so this was one of the ones that had scab in it. So it wasn't very good. So where are we going? Um, right east of town, uh, mile. So actually we just drove by. Okay. This is a 3600 Kinsey planter, so that's a split row at We're here in Melbourne, Kansas, uh, East Central Kansas. We're here with local farmers, uh, Robert Litch 
and Brandon Litch. We've got some corn and some beans. Robert and Brandon, uh, those beans, uh, that, that's a common theme. I've been seeing a lot of that through Missouri, now Kansas, and even parts of Indiana, Illinois. Uh, they were a little bit further ahead, but uh, they were being um, stressed by moisture. Uh, these look dry. Uh, has, has, has this field uh, been wet? It was earlier. We planted around the first of June on these, sixth or seventh. Probably, and since then we haven't. We've had nice rains on it actually since then. Yep. Uh, it's dried up a little bit since May, so things are working pretty good for us right now. Just two, three weeks behind right. on the beans. Right. So this crop can still be made as long as you get some rain. As long as we get rain in July and August, and then we have to worry about maybe a early frost or something like that. Right. Um, corn looking good this is some of the best corn I've seen the most mature corn um, when did you plant this uh, we planted this so it would have been about the first of April okay. um, and it's 114 day corn okay so it's and been tasseled out for about a week and it's silking right now and spacings uh, we plant about 26,000 okay so okay a population sure cool yeah no it's looking good so uh, what do you think this year you're on par with last year yeah, we are at this time, but last year we didn't get rain in July and August and it hurt our yields Did it? just in our little area. Yeah. And this this corn was underwater. Well, I don't know if it was actually underwater, but this area was underwater twice back there at the end of May. Yeah. Well, folks, we're getting heat today, 91 degrees. I think the guys in the east would love some of this heat, but it's really only been hot the last couple of days as we've traveled through Missouri and Kansas. Thanks, thanks for your time, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay.